only way we go is with Waco. Right, today we're going to cook you up some nummus. Now nummus is a fish dish and it's a raw fish dish and the ingredients that you use, the acidic nature of the ingredients cooks the fish when you leave it for a while. Preferably in the fridge. Yeah, you've got to put it in the fridge. Seafood doesn't belong outside. So we'll, oh, there you go. We'll slap it back in the we'll way. Put it back in the way, yeah. Now, Fair what enough. we're doing today, we're actually going to have a bit of a cook-off, if you can say that, because we don't actually cook the fish. It cooks itself in the fridge, so that's the beauty of this dish. While it's cooking, we can get fishing. Now, I'm going to do a simple form of a namas dish. Yeah. And you're onto something else a bit more... I'm going to make a namas salad. What? It's a salad fish dish. It's tasty, trust me, very tasty. Fishing salad? Yeah, fishy salad, raw fish salad. Beautiful, tastes awesome. All right, well, I'll leave you with it, I'm and away it. you go. All right, I'm gonna cut it up nice and thinly, exactly the size pieces that you're actually gonna eat in the dish. Second of all, I'm gonna add some ginger, garlic, and a bit of onion. Then I'm gonna add some, I'd love to add soy sauce, but we don't have it, so I'm gonna sort of do up a bit of a mixture of Worcestershire and a bit of fish sauce. That'll sort of make a bit of a soy sauce. And sugar. I'm gonna add all that in together and I'm gonna leave that for 20 minutes until it's sort of browned through the flesh. After that 20 minutes is done, I'll whip it out of the fridge again. Then I'm gonna add in some more of your salt and pepper to taste, some oil and vinegar. And that's about it. You're all right, Rod. You're finished. Up. You're up, all right, mate. it's my turn. All right, well, I'm gonna do a bit quicker than you. I'm going fishing. All right, see you then. First of all, fish. So I put the fish in. There you have it. Now, what I've got here, I've got finely chopped capsicum, tomato, onion, and celery. Then ginger, slab of ginger in. That was a big squirt, but that'll be all right. I need a bit of garlic. Whack the garlic in, like that. Now I've got lime, so lime juice. Put the lime juice in. I've got some lemon juice. Squeeze a lemon in there. I've squeezed the lemon in, so what I'll do is I'll just get some lemon zest as well off that. All right, there's the lemon zest. Tasty. Now, I need a few other ingredients. Dab of fish sauce, a bit of Worcestershire, gives it a bit of zing. A bit of salt to taste, even though I put the fish sauce in. A bit of pepper, quick bit of pepper. And one of these, whole tin of coconut milk. This is what really gives it a taste. Oh, look at that. Nice sweet coconut milk. And the last one, just a little bit of sugar, like that. And I'm done. I just stir that in. Oh, look at that. It tastes beautiful once it's cooked. Now you're probably looking at me silly like, what do you mean cooked? You're gonna put it in the fridge. Well, all those ingredients in there, the acidic ingredients will cook that fish, mate. It'll turn it white. All right, now I've got that in a sealed container and I'm just gonna stick it in the Waco for about an hour and she'll be good to go. So we've got ourselves a bed of rice for our nummus. How long's it been in there for? One all, hour. All up one hour. Mine's a little bit runnier than Rod's. They both smell good though. Let's have a bit of a taste. Mm -hmm. Some really nice flavors there. And you can see the meat here. You can see the meat is white. And it's not chewy. Very tasty. So there you have it. Jason Rotto's Nummus. Rotto's Nummus. Jason's Nummus. A couple of different ways of doing it. Easy as pie. I'm hooking in.